A story tonight highlighting the importance of ice safety. A dog had to be rescued from Grenadier Pond after falling through the ice. The German Shepherd and its owner home safe and sound tonight thanks to the actions of a quick thinking officer. When I got to the scene, I could see the owner about 20 feet out onto the ice. I could also see the dog swimming for his life. It was around 12.30 when police responded to a call at High Park this afternoon. A 16-month-old German Shepherd off its leash had run out onto the frozen pond and fallen through the melting ice. At a certain point, though, the dog had been in the water for about 10 or 15 minutes and it was showing signs of fatigue and at one point it stopped uh, swimming. The owner had managed to get back to shore safely, but with the puppy still struggling in the ice cold water, Constable Matthew Abramovitz sprung into action. So I was able uh, to hook up some safety equipment. Uh, the back seat of the car actually floats, our police car floats, it comes out, and a life uh, preserver as well, and go out onto the ice. And uh, at one point I fell through too. My body froze almost immediately. So. It was very cold. You really don't think about it because the adrenaline is so high. Uh, you just focus on the task of getting the dog out. Once it saw me come, come out towards it, it started to show signs of life again. And, and I think he knew he was, or she was going to get rescued. So, Toronto Fire arrived on scene to help. And during the rescue efforts, one of their firefighters also went into the icy water. But eventually, the dog and both humans were pulled to safety. Police are using the incident as a reminder to stay away from the water's edge as the weather warms up. People need to be aware that the ice, no matter how cold it is outside, it's, it's very thin ice and it's easy to fall through. And if I didn't have those proper safety precautions in place, it could have ended up differently. So people, please don't go out on the ice as, as much as you think it's safe. It's not. It's a dangerous situation. And the officer and the firefighter who were involved in that rescue were both taken to St. Joseph's Hospital and checked for hypothermia.